Hi, salam sejahtera and assalamualaikum. How are you? Hope everything are good in your side. Our first chapter is on the real estate space market and asset market. I have divided this chapter into two, which are real estate space market and asset market. In this part, we will discuss the real estate space market. Let's proceed. What's a market? Market is a mechanism for the voluntary exchange of goods and services among owners. In other words, market is a meeting place of two or more players in order to exchange goods or services that they demanded to. In a barter system, people exchange goods with goods or goods with services, where in our current systems, we have medium of exchange, which is money, in order to exchange with goods or services that we need. For example, house owner would want to find suitable tenant for his house. In exchange of benefits of staying at the house, the tenant need to pay monthly rental payment. Okay? There are two types of markets relevant to commercial property. The first one is the space market. This type of market is also known as usage or rental market. Why? It is because from the word space itself, it represents a market where one party demands a space or the other party would supply it with an exchange of payments or money as a medium of exchange. For example, tenants and landlord. And the second market is asset market. This type of market is known as property market. Why? It is because of the main intentions of parties in this market is to own a real property either for own stay or for investment purposes. For example, buyer and developer or seller and investor. What's a real property? Real property is a property that we can touch, see and see it physically. For example, land and building. Okay, now let's concentrate on the space market. Okay, as we can see here, there will be demand and supply in the market where demand coming from users and supply coming from owners of property. In exchange of the usage of the property, users need to pay rental amount to the owners as property space supplier. We can also call usage of property as utilizations of manfaah or benefit. Segmentations in the space market. A market can be segmented or grouped into various segments. Within each segment, the same property can have a different equilibrium price, which is price that is determined based on demand and supply. The real estate space market is highly segmented. Why? Let's proceed to the next slide. First, Let's take a look at the demand side which comes from the users of property. From the demand side, space market is segmented into two segments which are types of space or types of property and also based on locations of property. For example, in terms of types of property, a lawyer would demand to rent an office for his firms rather than a warehouse. A bank officer or a bank CEO working at urban area is most likely to choose a studio apartment or condo to stay. Meanwhile, in terms of locations of property, user of public transport would demand houses nearby train or bus stations to ease their traveling to office or other places. Headquarter would consider town area instead of rural area to open its new branch. So, demand towards space market would depend on specific types of property as well as specific locations of that property requested by the users. If there is high volume of users demanded the same types of property at the same location, it will affect the price and also the rental rate of that property. For example, in Malaysia for the 10 years, not many, for the past 10 years, not many people wanted to stay at Bangi where house price or the rental is cheaper than the current price. 
because of increase in demand from the users to stay at this location. Okay, and from the supply supply side, from the supply side, similar with the demand side, supply of space is segmented or determined by types of property as well as the location. Developer need to decide what types of property they, they want to build. Landlords need to decide what types of house he or she wanted to rent out. And they have to also determine at which location they want to offer that property. As a result of segmentation in the space market, price of real estate as well as rate of rental are different based on types of property and also its locations. As in example here, we compare between property in Petaling Jaya and Teluk Panglima Garang. Even though property in Teluk Panglima Garang offered bigger space as compared to the one in PJ, the price is much more lower in Teluk Panglima Garang. This is because of the locations. It is also same with the rental price offered in this location. Okay, let's check your understanding. What is market? What are the segments for demand and supply of real estate in the space market? Is there a functioning market for apartment rental in Kampung Bulu? So far, we have discussed on what usually happen in the space market. However, if we observe the space market currently, it happened oppositely. It is because of one critical and big factor that have affected the whole market not only in Malaysia but also happened around the globe. As because of the pandemic COVID-19 that happened since November 2019, many sectors have been affected which it also has affected, affected the space market. Okay, let's proceed. This is online news which reported that Malaysia's overall real estate market have hardly affected by coronavirus due to movement or the control or MCO which imposed by our government. In order to control the spread of coronavirus, many sectors have been stopped from operations like manufacturing, education, travel, agency, hotel and many more. As a result, these sectors have experienced sales decline as well as losses in their businesses which at the end they have to close their business due to the strains on their cash flow. Among the outcomes of this scenario are first, increase of unemployment rate. People have no incomes or shortage of cash to pay the rental fee and they will move to rent new house that is affordable provided that high volumes of house supply in the markets. Second, closing of retail and wholesale business. It will uh, affect the losing of rental incomes to the property owners. This is example of office demand as a function of employment rate. First, we look at the supply curve in the middle, which is the green line. X axis is rental rate in $1,000. Y axis is width of the property measured by 1000 square feet. As in the beginning, given that the width of the property is 4.5 thousand square feet and the rental rate is about 17,000 US dollar, in case of number of workers is increased to 36,000, the company would need to extend the space to 5,000 square feet in which they need to pay higher rental rates which, which is 18,000 US dollar. And in case of the number of workers is reduced to 24,000, the company only need to rent about 4,000 square feet on the property with lower rental rate imposed, which is 15,000 US dollar on it. Overall, the relationship between number of workers, property space, as well as rental rate in a normal circumstances is positive. In addition, when the demand for property is high but property is scarce, Prices skyrocket and it becomes a seller's market. This is an example of real estate space supply. The supply curve is typically portrayed as an upward sloping curve reflecting the fundamental law of supply which states that greater quantity is supplied at higher price. As an example, at the beginning, a developer able to supply 5,000 square feet of property 
with 15,000 rental income. Usually, when the number of available properties increases to flood the market, prices typically drop. Supply and demand in real estate are not easy to balance. Creating more sellable properties takes time, considerable work, and a lot of effort. It is not possible at all in some cases, and even with it is, when it is, it might not be possible for supply to increase in times to meet consumer demand. As an example, because of the durable nature of homes, the otherwise standard upward sloping supply curve is kink at the current price. The vertical portions of the curve below the kink reflect that the willingness to supply existing homes to the market at a price below cost, a negative profit. In order to minimize losses on some investment in the event of a negative demand shock, the slope of supply curve above the kink is thought to arise from a combination of regulatory and geographic constraints that means that the cost of building new homes is higher than it was for existing homes. Long-run marginal cost. What is long-run marginal cost? It is the change in the long-run total cost of producing a good or services resulting from a change in the quantity of output produced. Supply of real estate property would depend on the long-run marginal cost. At and below existing supply volumes, long-run marginal cost is zero because there is no additional production or property. Long-run marginal cost is considered as development cost. If there is additional production of property beyond the existing supply volumes, Development cost is including cost of construction and land. Rising and falling of long-run marginal costs. As in example, the long-run marginal cost will increase parallel to the demand, which is more production will be done, plus limited land, and it will cause increasing of rental rate. Falling Meanwhile, falling of long-run marginal costs happen when there is low demand plus less cost or as no or less productions of property. Real estate price adjustment. Rents and prices play a very important role in real estate as they do in any other market. Furthermore, rents and prices are two of the most important inputs that market analysis need to provide for the assessment of the financial feasibility and viability of a project. That is why it is very important to understand how market rents and prices are determined and what mechanism drive their movement. As in the case of any other market, real estate rents or prices are determined through the interactions of supply and demand or sellers and buyers in the marketplace. This example shows that graphically the market rent or price is determined as the intersections of demand and the supply curve. These intersection points represent the rent or price at which the number of willing buyers or tenants equals to the number of willing landlords or sellers. In mathematical terms, this is the price at which Quantity of demand equal to quantity of supply. Equilibrium market price. Suppose that the market price is at P1, which is below the equilibrium level. At this point, the number of units demanded, which is the quantity of demand, is greater than the number of units supply, quantity of supply. In such a case, the, the excess demand will drive prices up so that some buyers will drop out of the market and some additional sellers motivated by the higher price will enter the market. One prices reach P star at which quantity of demand equal to quantity of supply, buyers will have no incentive to drive price further up. And in case if the market price is at P2 which is above the equilibrium level, the number of units demanded which is a QD will be smaller than number of unit supply, QS, and sellers experiencing low interest in their properties will be motivated to reduce prices in order to attract buyers. Prices should continue falling until 
QD equal to QS, at which point no seller will be motivated to reduce the price of its offering. Malaysia Experiences this is real residential property price index from 2000 until 2018. We can see here that the period between 2000 to, to 2008, 2008 is a recovery phase after 1998 economic recessions. Started from 2009 until 2014, the property markets have reported good record where there, there was increase in the property price. However, since 2016 until recently, the property price have moved downward and is believed will continue downward this year and in future as COVID-19 have affected all sectors. In case you want to know more information regarding property market in Malaysia, you can go to this website and explore all property report provided in the website. Please read more information on property market to have a better understanding on this market. That's all for the first part of topic 1. Thank you.